Um, there we go. Well, welcome on in, everybody. I am sleepy. Uh, not feeling the super greatest, but streaming is a wonderful distraction. So, gonna do the normal start a stream things, Twitter, Discord. I almost like called it discogram, like I was thinking about Instagram or something, but that's not a real thing. And my Instagram is so sorely neglected. And of course, reminding everybody that if you would like to join me live, you can come follow over at twitch.tv slash MSLP. And if you just want to hang out on YouTube, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel here. My simple little pleasures. Everything from Twitch eventually gets onto YouTube. It just it's not live so it's not you know quite the same interactive experience but you can interact vicariously I guess you could say we're gonna start off <clears throat> I guess I'm a little bit hoarse too actually we've got tea and water uh, of which to moisten <gasps> I don't know if the mic picked that up that was a bottle of polish falling off the back end of the helmet which is kind of a pain in the butt because I don't know it's, it's not exactly super easy to get back there I can get it but it's my own fault I was clumsy anyway we're gonna be peeling off the uh, flaky orange flowers <laughs> camera it like almost will focus well, you could still you could still see the sparkles of the flakies. Hey, son. Um, these I'm not I'm not a hundred percent sure what I'm putting on after I take this off. I'm not sure if I want to do a regular manicure or if I want to maybe do a little bit of nail art. I kind of wanted to do a smooshy the other day. Hey, caters. Um, I had this really cute shirt on and I wanted to do a smooshy inspired by those colors and I kind of meant to like keep it out so I could reference it and I think I put it in the laundry so I do not have a reference if I should choose to do that um, probably I should zoom you guys in a little bit huh probably where's my okay there's the thingy the thingy um, okay, so um, this wore horribly. I had both my thumbs come off and I replaced them and one already came off again. This one I think had come off and then obviously these two came off. So I don't know what the fuck was up with that, but... <laughs> I am uh, ready and happy to be getting rid of this, I guess I can say, because it, it, I mean, I, I, like I said, I did do, redo the thumbs when they came off, but uh, when these came off yesterday, I just was like, no, this is, oh, there's, let me put this down here coming off soon anyway I'm not gonna waste my time like trying to restick them yeah but it's not impressive I I enjoyed this it wasn't my favorite orange is not usually like my favorite color I feel like I need to like palette cleanse into something purple or blue <laughs> or green what is what's going on here I'm trying to make sure this camera is where it should be Okay, we haven't lost our peelies though. We do have our peelies right here. And uh, gonna go ahead and find our edges and then do the peel. And think about, think about what we wanna do next. Like I don't, whoa. I might not even need to find edges on this. They might just be gonna pop off let's just start recording and hope we'll have to hope we don't run into any truly like stubborn spots but I don't want to like accidentally pop them off while looking for the edges so 
Let's see here. We got this one and this one and this one. We got... Wait, I don't like the way that looks. We got... Which one actually went to this one? Probably this one here. So we got that one. And this one. And this one. And this one seems like it's going to just like... Easily pop off. Are they all gonna just. God. No wonder they're coming off. They're literally just like waiting for a moment to pop off. This is one of the other ones that I restuck. So it's like slightly more stubborn, but not by much. Oh, the camera. Did I not charge your battery? Don't die in the middle of the peel, please. Don't die in the middle of the peel. Oh, maybe this is one of the other ones that had needed to be restuck. Wow, though, they came off so easily. Hey, Amethyst. <laughs> Yeah, no, that is definitely good. Um, and I mean, I, I have a, I have another battery. I just, I try to, oh, you know why? I know exactly why. It's because when we did this, we moved directly into games on stream. And then I didn't actually do the intro and stuff until the next day. And then I guess at that time, I just forgot to do the thing. Okay, so let me just take and do this real quick with the battery. I'm not sure if we're even, like I said, I'm not sure if we're doing a tutorial, so I'm not sure if I need the camera. What do you guys think? I don't see that the, the other problem is I don't know what I would wear if I just did a plain manicure. I don't have like a waiting list like I sometimes do. Um, we'll just set you right here. And we'll plug you in down here. So. Yeah, what a, what a sleepy little lump we have here today. <laughs> He's really knocked out. Um, do we have cotton over here so I can finish this last? I mean, there's a couple little orange bits and stuff. Just in time for a dish lark. Let me grab some cotton. that might possibly rouse him actually let's stick this in here where it's safe <gasps> well that's not safe <laughs> my poor phone okay so um polish remover yeah it was like a couple, it, of course, it was also very similar to a manicure I just did as far as color scheme. It was like a couple shades of purple and like a grayish silver. I mean, the pattern of the shirt itself was like, was like a smooshy. That's, it wasn't just the colors that inspired me. It literally was that it already, li literally, literally was that it already looked like a smooshy on the shirt. We can do some other kind of smooshy. I don't have any, I, ne I really need to like sort and organize and clean off my desk and put away a lot of stuff. I keep keeping stuff out also because some of it isn't on YouTube yet and it's like, well, what if I need to reference the bottle? It's like, also get your shit together. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to just picture in my head like I can I'm, I'm picturing it wrong because I can only picture three colors and I remember making a note that it was would be a four color smooshy 
So what color am I somehow forgetting? Is the question. Um, yeah, I think I would want the shirt like in front of me to, uh, to have a reference. Hey kittens. I hope you're doing well. Son, you want to give kittens a shout out? We're just realized I was off camera there cleaning up like this orange that's just stuck under there. <laughs> yeah, he is right now. What do you hear? Something disturbed your, your peaceful slumber there. Oh, never mind. No longer disturbed. God, I look tired, don't I? Let's perk up. I can't. <laughs> Maybe eventually it'll it'll come naturally as the as the stream progresses if I get excited about whatever we end up doing on our nails here. Like I don't have anything to be excited about because I don't know what we're doing. I have one of the things I did before, like as a test kind of pulled out, but like the more I look at it, the more it just looks like a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, this time of the afternoon. Man, he really is just like super, super peaceful. This time of the afternoon, like I get a lot of shade because there's a tree right outside my window, but it's like the sun is kind of getting low enough that it's under the, well, you can tell it's still kind of dappily, but it's getting under the tree a little bit more than it does earlier in the day. All right, little, little bit, bitty bits of orange left. <laughs> okay let's let us brainstorm here i mean i could go to like my pinterest board but i don't feel like i even want to put that much inspiration into it i feel like if i can't get another like easy idea of like a smooshy and with the colors like near enough to hand that i can like quickly lay my hands on them that i'll probably just end up doing a regular manicure but even that i mean it's not just like completely random you know, I mean, I need, I need to pick something. I need to... The only decision that was firmly in place when we started stream was that the orange was coming off. Everything else is kind of fair game. Hey, yo. Well, no, I shouldn't say that. Not everything else is fair game, but... Low, low effort options are fair game. Can I say that? Of course, some people will probably say that a smooshie is not low effort, but it's not that hard. I mean, it's a little bit of cleanup, but it's not that bad. We are, we just took off the orange flowers, yo, and I am considering what we're putting on in their place. Hmm. Is that how oh, it's under the little edge? A little bit of orange. All right, I think we're looking pretty good here. Nails are looking decent, no breaks still got the two that we are keeping an eye on yeah I can I can feel them but they're not they're not showing when I go like that so and and honestly that and this this peeling area can we uh, can we focus here on, on my finger please camera camera it's like not it's focusing on my palm instead of on my finger there oh, for a minute what if I just go like this what if I just go like this and it's fucking with there you see on the side there those little almost how do I describe them? it's it's the the the, the corner of the nail has peeled off 
and then you can see the edge of where the peel stopped does that make sense god this really shows that line in my nail like to weird effect also it like almost has a cat eye effect that is so fucking weird anyway i've really been trying to be mindful of this nail and keep it from uh keep it from flexing there because that part of the nail is weaker and uh, I don't want to break it so hmm I've got like I said a lot of polish out but there's not really a huge amount of rhyme or reason to it like a lot of what's out on top of the Helmers is uh stuff we pulled out to t to play with hollow taco with and then like a lot of what's out on the desk is stuff that i've already used in a manicure hey carrie yeah so you know what i'm talking about yo i think a lot of people have them and it it irritates me no end but i used to have peeling like that on literally like all my nails before i started biotin so I'm glad that it is confined to just one nail right now. And I don't know if the camera will focus enough for you to see. Yeah, see like on the side of the pinky there where you can kind of see the same? That's that spot where the where the where we had the peel off base coat issue. It's almost fully grown out now. I was like right, right there. Um, so I've, I've been keeping an eye on that as it grows out too because that was a very that was like a really weird experience and i still i think that like the the thinness of only doing one coat was partially to blame for that but other than that i really don't know because i've never had a problem like that before or since with uh with that yeah i mean it did for me the the thing with biotin is uh a lot of people do get acne as a side effect from it I, i'm not sure that there's very many other side effects for the most part it's pretty safe but yeah i mean like if you really want to see some horrible nails <laughs> i think like the very first or second post on my blog is like a picture of my naked nails at the time and so much peeling because when i first started my blog i was not taking biotin I'm just squaring off the tip of this one a little bit. That's a little better. This one too. See, it's got a little bit of a... It's got a... I think it's a little bit transparent because they're still a little bit wet because I had a shower kind of late. That also lets you see, see, see on the side there. Oh, come on, camera! Come on, camera! It all it looks like a break from this angle, with the black behind it to show it. Just like I don't know what what is that? Like two millimeters above my free edge, you can see it there. It's not actually a break, and we've been growing it out for probably about a month now to make sure that it's not a break. It's a, it's a stress line from where my nail bent, and it's, it feels like a little bit of a peel. There's actually two of them right there. But so far, we have prevented it from turning it into an actual peel or an actual break. So that is a win. I'm gonna super lightly buff it just so it's smooth. The white side is basically nothing. Oh, look at look at this. Okay, I just talk about how great my nails are, and then look at here. We got a spontaneous peel on my thumbnail. I'm going to have to be careful of that corner. That's kind of fucked up, Nails. Come on. <laughs> hey, Dogmaster. 
Yeah, I used to almost always get breaks there too, son. I think keeping them a lot shorter right now has helped. Hmm. Should we just pull open a drawer and start looking at things? Or should I look in, uh... What's in here? There's that. What's in this box? No, this box is already stuff I've already used, too, I think. This was a previous desktop cleanup, it looks like. Hmm... Or is it? It partly is. I don't know why some of these things are in here. Oopsie doodle. Mm. Yeah, some of these are definitely old manicures and then some of them, it's like, why are you in here? There's the color club box. Mm. Oh. What do we have in here? We've got like some hollows in here. We've got, are the oil slicks in here? The oil slicks are in here. We use the oil slicks a lot though. Space birds, yeah. I, I sympathize with people whose cats are rude like that. I really do. <laughs> Okay, what if we go... Rhythm and Blues, which has that... Come on, camera. See that purple in the corner? I don't know how else to let you guys... It just only wants to show on the corners. How about if we do Rhythm and Blues? Hmm. Take a chill pill. I don't know what this is. This is the one that doesn't have its label. Do these go together? Camera! Camera! Oh, there we go. This is hollow and sparkly. This is cream and this is duochrome. Or... I almost feel like, because this is like duochrome blue to purple. Ooh, there's some of the purple. Poorly lit, but what if I go like, no, you guys aren't going to be able to. Um, what if we used a purple hollow? This is a very subtle hollow. This is like an old hollow. Or this one. No, I would want to go probably more like with this one. Which is Medal of Honor. I want to see what those look like together. I believe. Ooh, or here's the other blue hollow. Um, what does that say? Oh, the irony. We'll test those as the hollow options. We'll see how this goes. Mm. Okay. Polish sketchbook. We just need a little bit of room. Whoop.
<laughs> That's great son. I'm gonna try and do a smooshy carry. And see like I don't I don't wanna do a whole bunch of testing. I would love if this just cooperated. That would be so nice of you nail polish. Got our little we got, we got some glitters and things on here. I probably could use a new sheet soon. If I do an actual manicure, I'll probably start a new sheet. Yeah, I feel like part of what I want to go for is like a mix of the finishes. And I feel like... Uh, that's a little bit easier with a with a smooshy than with a gradient. Okay, let's give these a shake. And then what is today the eighth? No, today's the seventh. Yeah? That's tight. Hello from Turkey. Hello, H Bati, or is it Habati, or is it both wrong? <laughs> that could also be popular. Oh, popular, possible. I can't. I apologize, you guys. Words are hard, especially when I'm sleepy. Okay, so let's see how these go together. We're gonna see <clears throat> if these polishes will cooperate for a smooshy marble. You done already, Amethyst? That was pretty quick. <clears throat> All right, so let's do like three drops of each is usually what I would do for a manicure. If I want to do like two two nails per smooshy or two nails like per stamper head of smoosh, I would try to lean more toward like larger dots. I'm not super worried about keeping them consistent since this is just like, whoa, for a test. I, I didn't mean to drop it like right on top of it like that though. Oh. I think that looks quite nice. Mmm. And then I don't, I don't know what angle I could get at to show you guys a little bit more of the, of the purple side of this duochrome. Because like I said, duochromes are so like difficult to show on camera. Mm, it's just, I mean, it's just the purple's not showing through. I like that a lot. It's like very like denim camera. Camera. There we go. It's It's got like very denim tones to it, but you can still see the, the three different finishes. smoking chicken and salmon on the grill hell yeah yo i've i've not had dinner you guys so yeah i'm i'm unsurprised that we've already we've already gotten to the food talk all right we're gonna try it this one is gonna be pretty much like just the same except instead of the blue hollow we're gonna try the purple hollow so whoop. Ooh, they're both very pretty, but I think I'm leaning blue. Tasty, but you're stinky. I don't think hickory smoke smells bad. Okay, so this can go. Okay, I was literally like this far from the box, like this far and I tried to just like, you know, gently toss it i missed <laughs> yeah i like the purple i like the blue better though i think now the question is like what do we want to use as a base i mean i'd lean obviously toward like the cream at least that one made it i feel like i lean we we got a string coming out from the hornet art 
But I also, like, I feel like the, the, the cream would be an obvious choice, but then also I feel like the hollow is perhaps the most sheer of them, but if I use the hollow as the base, I feel like I would be worried that, like, too much of the, of the shimmer might transfer through. Okay, so we're gonna do these colors. Let me see if I can... Let me see if I can show you guys the color shift. Let's have some flashlight time. Salad with chicken. I kind of want to have some salad. Like I feel like I haven't had salad in a while. I'm, I'm gonna have to turn off. Ooh, look at the look at the caps. I'm gonna have to turn off the ring light though. Let's see if we can. Ooh, somewhat. This well, it's giving you uh, quite a glimpse of how holographic this actually is, if nothing else. Ooh, that's the dirty side. Hmm. Um, hmm. But I was trying to get like an angle to show you guys. I mean, you can. Ooh, there, there we go. See how like. Multichromes are even harder than hollows, but you see how we have like an almost turquoise leaning blue here and then we go more blue and then more blurple and there's even like a more shift down tone in purple. I'm just, I'm not quite getting the camera to cooperate. So, and I mean the hollow is just, uh, all, all the halo, color club halo hues hollows are, you know pretty pretty intense shall we say so we're gonna mix rainbows with color shift with just blue too much shimmer too much shimmer for the camera to handle we'll say not too much shimmer for me it's just frustrating like I, I was hoping that the flashlight would come through for me. It's, it's sometimes in the bottle, like the, the best way to really show it. Oh, come on and focus for me here, camera, camera, camera. Ooh, okay. You see in the little corner and in the edges there, you see how we're seeing like two, three different colors here. But then like you go over here and it's like just blue again. And then the camera doesn't want to focus. But that, there, that pinky purple, like that's a whole spectrum of the color of it. That's not the right word I wanted to use, but if you own multi-chromes, you understand how the colors shift and that is where the color shifts to. I just, I wish you could see it like, like from my angle, it's purple and from you guys' angle it's turquoise and when i tried to give you my angle we're just like we're we're not lit enough but it's very very pretty we do not in fact unfortunately i don't think do i have a polish in motion for this let's look shall we i kind of don't think i do but maybe i'm wrong because i'm a spaz mm, i can't i can't even spell Mm. no that's the best way to go i think uh sunburnt is just like jazz it up this is really you know what okay can i can i search just by okay I, I don't even know what I don't even expect to find what I'm looking for so I don't know why I'm so insistent yeah I don't have one for this one I have one for burnt out don't kill my vibe will never be royals and cash only but I think I either haven't worn this on its own as a manicure or maybe it was just like not oh there's that purple 
I see you purple come through just just sneaking in there um or I didn't have good weather to record a polish in motion when I had it on um all right so we'll need that we'll need sesh feet we'll need base coat we'll need the stamper um how long have I been going I'm debating whether I should take like just a super quick bathroom break if I'm debating it I probably should I kind of hate to because I haven't been going that long but um my bladder doesn't care how long I've been going so let me find you guys some music I'll try to make it a super super quick trip downstairs and back and then when I get back we will be uh smooshying smooshying smooshing smooshing we're gonna be doing a manicure with these colors that the camera thinks are too shiny camera there behave while I'm gone camera while I'm gone you guys will be listening to the wonderful unwritten return by Kevin McLeod and uh yeah exactly son it's like one of those things like if you're about to get in the car and go somewhere like probably just you know go to the bathroom if you're about to do your nails then probably just go to the bathroom if I was just doing a plain manicure it wouldn't be a thing but smooshies I'm hoping the smooshy goes just as smoothly as that test went knock on wood I'll be back shortly think that like possibly possibly this manicure is blessed because beanie didn't move 
beanie stayed the whole time I was gone. Tis a rare occurrence. <clears throat> <laughs> so I tend to stick with like one brand pretty frequently just cause partly because I don't know it's just the way my, my brain works and partly because a lot of times they're uh, you know like stored together the, the hollow barely looks blue at all on camera I'm just looking at how they look on camera versus how they look to me in person like the camera isn't wrong, but it's it's not right either. <laughs> um, but of course, like if you're if you're trying to recreate this look, you don't have to stick within one brand. You know, the the heart of the inspiration is just the three different uh, like textures or finishes. <clears throat> Oh, you just so comfy, boy. Oh, yeah, we got tummy access, you guys. Mm. <laughs> okay, um, 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 let's get the camera. Which we are, in fact, going to need because we're going to do a tutorial <sighs> that will need to be edited. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's so much more fun to just do nails with you guys hanging out. I mean, I like having the finished edited tutorial and whatever. I just <clears throat> fuck editing for real, for real, for real, for real. All right getting the big boy camera back up here and uh, I don't think that I uh, I don't think I downloaded pictures off of it last time either but we have like 40 minutes of, of wiggle room for for recording so hopefully it'll be fine what is this stuck on there get out like when you feel your mat and it's like lumpy and you're like, what the hell is under my mat making it lumpy? Okay. Um, we're going to need this out of the way. This accessible. This. Um, we'll go for this way. We're going to need some actual acetone. We are going to need a fresh um whoa lint roller sheet this one's still pretty sticky but now we're just like super clean in fact this one is like sticky and nice enough maybe I can just like can I do like this I'm just like stick you over here like that. Does that work? That works. Okay. Nail prep. You can't see me. <laughs> Let's zoom in a little bit more. Okay. So I'm prepping my nails with acetone. Make sure they're fully clean, fully dry, no residue from anything, even soap or skin oils or anything minor, to cross our fingers and hope that we get decent wear out of peel-off base coat because we're dumb and wear peel-off base coat. <laughs> Honestly, sometimes, like after the last manicure, I just do. I feel dumb. I'm like, well, what did you expect? You're using a peel-off base coat and your nails are peeling off. What a nail polish <laughs> not my actual nails thank god but like losing a peely unintentionally is like so sad and actually losing a peely is also super sad
Hmm. Yeah, I really, I mean, when I, when I used to have my old system of organization, heavy on the air quotes, um, you know, everything was arranged by color, but I still, when I was like looking to pull particular polishes, um, more often found myself going by brand. So that I think also influenced my choice to reorganize everything by brand. And then of course the, the plan, the hope, and I really didn't mess with my cuticles at all today, but I don't feel like they super need it. Um, they're not looking too gnarly. Um, the, the ideal plan will be for the, the swatch sticks to be ordered by color so that we can have, you know, check out dupes. If we're looking for something specific, we can look and be like, Hey, here it is right here. But, uh, <laughs> that will involve actually having swatches done one, one day. Over the rainbow. No, that's someday, someday or one day. Mm, somewhere. <laughs> I'm just, I'm wrong. I'm fully wrong, you guys. <laughs> God. Almost choked myself to death on tea right there. <coughs> Jesus. Ah, breathing and drinking at the same time equals no, no. FYI, if you are also an adult who has not learned this lesson, <coughs> I'm okay. I mean, you know, mildly embarrassed for <laughs> being as absurd as usual on stream. <coughs> oh my God. Okay. Um. Um, hi Karen I forgot you can't breathe and drink at the same time excuse me apparently Ugh. that's one of those things that maybe makes you realize that you are in fact even more tired than you imagined that you were because it's such a dumb thing to do dino <clears throat> hello welcome I oh, heard fever I thought you were going to say he heard me choking to death and showed concern. <laughs> Silly me. <laughs> it's buttception. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> I'm okay. <laughs> Judgmental Judy. Oh, gee. Thank you for the follow. <clears throat> God. I really have to compose myself because we're about to start recording. <clears throat> Let's have a drink of plain water with no breathing involved. <sighs> I said that and then I just took like a deep breath before I swallowed. Okay. I'm better now. <clears throat> I hope. Let us, uh, Let us massage the tutorial camera. <clears throat> <clears throat> Starting off with clean, dry nails, we're going to begin with a base coat. I'm using Ready for Takeoff, which is a peel off base, and you can use whichever is your personal favorite. So, Dino, we started out with not a clue. I was thinking either something simple or a plain manicure. And then I was talking about <clears throat> how I had a shirt on the other day that I wanted to turn into a smooshy manicure, but I put it in the laundry and I didn't have it as a reference anymore. So we just looked at some other colors and we decided to do we being me, 
we decided to do a different finishes of blue smooshy. So we've got a cream blue. We have a duochrome blue to purple. And yes, the blue hollow. Um, I, I think it's going to look cool. It already looks pretty cool from the testing. And I think, you know, just adding a a base color will help the color everything to pop a little bit more <clears throat> we considered using purple for the hollow since the duochrome flash is purple but we're gonna stick with the blue all blues and of course <clears throat> can't see any hollow there I'm sorry to say that you did miss flashlight time on the hollow <clears throat> and sorry if I missed <clears throat> Anybody coming in or any any chat in between me choking myself to death and in between uh, getting the tutorial going here. Um, I, I just didn't sleep super great last night. I had to get up early <coughs> for a, a meeting, an online meeting. And then when I woke up, I was, and maybe it's because I, like, woke up, like, before I really wanted to wake up, but, like, I was feeling really nauseous, which, like, is not super uncommon in the morning. Like, I'm, like, the earlier I wake up, usually, the more nauseous I am. And I didn't feel like I was, I don't know, I didn't feel like it was so early that I should be quite as nauseous as I was, and, you know, that's just a very unpleasant feeling. And then I thought about, like, laying back down and going back to bed after the meeting, but then I was like, well, you're up now, so you might as well get up. It's kind of nice, because since it's, like, an online meeting, I can get up right before it starts, <laughs> and then just not turn on my webcam. <clears throat> yeah, maybe, I mean, maybe it is just due to the tiredness. I probably shouldn't have gone quite as late as I did last night, but... <clears throat> seemed like a fine idea at the time <laughs> there's a little black speck in there I'm trying to get out there we go <clears throat> we did uh, we did hollow night last night and I actually did manage to get a PB <coughs> <coughs> that sucks Dino I wasn't quite there And I didn't want it to be, because I had been, like, recently, like, I don't know, like a month or so ago. Okay. So, we've got our, we've got our peel off on there. We're going to let it dry. Can you tell the difference between these two hands? See how much wetter this one is? Just from the reflection. So, like, ready for takeoff doesn't take a super long time to dry, as long as you apply it pretty thinly. And it is pretty obvious when it's when it's still wet, like just from actually that one's still kind of a little wet. If I compare it to the pinky, like the first one I did versus the last one I did, you can see <clears throat> the difference in finish. <clears throat> Laundry lurk for sun. <clears throat> I still feel like, you know, that like <clears throat> like there's some tea settled right about here. <clears throat> in the sponges that are my lungs. Let's have some regular water again. Mmm, creamy tea in your lungs. Great. Yes, I put I put cream in my tea. Don't at me. It's delicious. Not all teas, not like mint tea. That seems like it would be a little bit weird. Not that there's anything wrong with being weird. We've discussed before. <clears throat> um... But like chai, chai is so fucking good with cream. If you don't know, now you know. Um, okay. This bottle's so messy. This this bottle was in a, a package with an exploded bottle, if anybody's curious what war zone it came from. Um, and yeah, I'm lazy. <clears throat> hey orange juice. <coughs> I had my second tea <clears throat> for last night's stream was not cream. It was uh, a basil mint pue. Think I'm pronouncing that right? 
Puerti P U E H which I don't even know what it means. I mean, it's like a kind of tea, but like there's lots of different flavors. It's delicious though. <coughs> All right, let's see if we can <clears throat> record this section without like coughing our lungs out. <clears throat> the colors that I'm going to be using for the smooshy marble are all from Color Club. This cream, which will also be the base color, is Take a Chill Pill. This multi-chrome is Rhythm and Blues, which goes from blue to more of a purple. And the hollow is Oh the Irony, which is getting a little bit washed out under the ring lights, but I think you can still see that rainbow shimmer. So I'm going to go ahead and apply my base color. Once I'm done with that, I'll be protecting around my nails using liquid... Li Where's my liquid latex? Shit. Where is my liquid latex? I didn't, I should have, I should have just played that off and kept recording. <clears throat> Here it is. <coughs> hey, LJ. <coughs> now that's out of my system again. I felt like that cough moved some of that tea around. <laughs> okay, let's try that again with the uh with the latex actually <clears throat> around hello boss <clears throat> plain china okay i mean i'm not against it son but like if i had any any choice at all <clears throat> all right <clears throat> take two <clears throat> take two <clears throat> take two <clears throat> The colors that I'm going to be using today are all from Color Club. The blue cream, which is also going to be my base color, is Take a Chill Pill. The multi-chrome is Rhythm and Blues, which shifts from blue into more of a purple. And then the hollow is Oh the Irony. And I think the ring light washes that out a little bit, but you can still see that hollow shimmer there. Once I've got my base color applied, I'm going to go ahead and protect her on my nails using liquid latex. Bottle looks just slightly, slightly gnarly. Just a little bit. <clears throat> All right. And these creams are like super opaque. You can probably get most of them one coat if you try. <clears throat> Basenji, thank you for the host. Sun or Amethyst, you want to take care of a shout out, please? And again, I'm trying to use my good painting skills that I'm finally learning to develop. <clears throat> Smooshies can be kind of weird. Like, you think they would be just like hell to clean up, and sometimes they are. But sometimes they're not. It all depends on where, like, if you can strike the perfect balance of polish to smooshing. Because if you don't have enough, you won't just, like, you won't get any cool patterns. Or you won't get as cool patterns, I guess I should say. You're, you're still going to get some patterns. Whereas if you have too much, it'll just practically, like, slide right off your nail and, like, flood into all your cuticles and everything, too. The perfect spot, of course... <clears throat> is somewhere in between there and it's it's difficult to get every time because it's it's based on so many factors like how long your nails are at the time is going to affect how much polish they can comfortably handle the consistency of the polish is going to make a difference um the size of your drops obviously so we've got little you can see those little small bald patches near the cuticle but i'm not going to worry about those too much <clears throat> I'm always worried I'm going to misspell when I'm doing shout outs. 
if it's a really confusing name or sometimes like if you don't know if it's something is like a a capital I or a lowercase L I'll do the at but then you gotta delete the at symbol because <clears throat> the shout out command doesn't like it all right so we were talking the other day about the liquid latex I think we've been using this for more than six months now and it's kind of interesting because we haven't actually had to refill the bottle like it applies fairly thinly um so maybe i should do that soon but it's not like so low that it's a hassle at all to to get enough to use Okay, whoa. I just almost messed up my pinky. I don't know if you guys can see that little mark. I, I nudged into the uh, stamper. <clears throat> Reuben. <laughs> Not a fan of sauerkraut or Swiss. The corned beef would be good. But, like, I don't think you could call it a Reuben if you stick some other kind of cheese on there and skip the sauerkraut. <laughs> Congratulations, Dogmaster. Which one? Which I want to know which one. The, the main one or the one before that or the one after that? I'm going to eat dinner. What are you having for dinner? You got to tell us. You got to tell us which fireball skip you got and which dinner you're having before you leave. It's it's Crow Judge. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Nope, he's already he's already gone to eat. I can sense it. We'll never know, you guys, what he's having for dinner. <clears throat> And this latex in its very nondescript, basic, you know, unknown, unlabeled, plain bottle is a, a latex body paint that's from Amazon. It is <clears throat> like listed and included in my nail polish essentials list. Um, and I really like it. It, it's just, it works so well. It's really nice. It was very cheap. I would recommend probably getting a, uh, ooh, that's kind of close, <clears throat> a syringe of some sort to help with filling it. That's my first filling experience was, I mean, if you plan to put it into a smaller bottle, I suppose you wouldn't have to. You could just use like a paintbrush or something and dip right in to the big old jar, but I feel like that would be kind of awkward. There's this little black spot. Get off of there. And as this particular color dries down, it goes to a pearl white. It does come in some other colors, but for me, you know, I wanted something that was kind of neutral and wouldn't clash with most nail arts and would also look kind of cool on camera. So that's why I went with the pearl over just like regular white or one of the other options. <clears throat> <coughs> <gasps> Greek chicken pita, hell yeah. I'm having Greek tomorrow or I would be more jealous, but tomorrow's dinner plan is in fact Greek. And I, our, our local Greek place is so good. I always get the same meal. Like when I go in there, they know that it's time to make a gyro combo, which gives you both kinds of gyro meat. And uh, with the hummus, their hummus is the fucking best hummus ever in the world well i don't know about that but it's the best i've ever had athens cafe in robbinsdale for my locals definitely would recommend they've been there for like shit at least 20 years maybe longer than that so that also tells you a little something <clears throat> Okay, so we're almost done. Should I do my other hand too? Or would I regret that? 
would I regret? No, because I might... Well, no, we'll just go ahead and do it. <clears throat> Bye, Dog Master. Enjoy your dinner. Thank you for answering me. <laughs> okay. And I'm not... Like, when I'm doing water marbles, I try to go, like, lower on my knuckle than I think I'm going to need... I shouldn't need to go too low for this. Hopefully it'll just behave. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, with some tzatziki sauce. Mmm. Mmm, y'all. Gonna have me wishing it was tomorrow. I'm only having like some boring chicken for dinner tonight not like delicious Greek chicken <clears throat> okay and once we finish this hand hopefully my left hand will be dry enough to get started and that's what we'll do mmm homemade chili hell yeah that is that is awesome for multiple reasons Number one is because, oops, that's kind of close. Meh, it'll be fine. Um, number one is because homemade chili is delicious. Number two, I mean, for me, would be that homemade chili makes excellent nacho, <laughs> excellent nacho material. <clears throat> Watch me turn like 50% of leftovers into nachos somehow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> oh no. I mean, good that you quit smoking. Congratulations. But not so great that it led to that. Ooh. The question is do you buckle down or do you buy new pants? Or do you just search out all of the leggings and... Oh, crap! Did the thing. The bad thing. I was trying to grab an orange stick. Um, I'm gonna have to fix this. Okay. There we are. Everything's fine. Let's put those right there in case we need them. Can you can you watch that for me, Benny? I was gonna try and get this little piece that I got on there. Are you got yeah, see this little get it off or at least like to the side of the nail. Alright, I think we're just we're just gonna leave that like that. <clears throat> Epic Nacho Edition. <laughs> like hello there this is a little bit uncomfortable okay smooshing is about to commence y'all And I probably also should get out my tweezers for removing this latex. <clears throat> um, okay, Basenji. Rip your cake sounds excellent. Mustard ice cream sounds the opposite of excellent <laughs> like I'm sorry what now I mean it's one of those things that's kind of like why is that so gross to me 
I remember thinking as a kid, like, why doesn't gum come in savory flavors? Like, why isn't there a nacho cheese hubba bubba? Or bubblicious or bubble yum? All the chewiest, bubbliest ones. Oh, goodness, butt, butt spot. I don't know if that's a butt spot yes or a butt spot no, y'all. I mean, kind of it's a butt spot yes, but it's also a butt spot no! <laughs> oh, God. So, I mean, do they, I mean, I'm assuming they don't go together, Basenji. Are they, is it, I mean, do you like it? Was it a, was it a dare? Was it a, what? you got, you got to give us the backstory on this. I mean, was it just something that came up and you're like, hey, let's try that. YouTube to YouTube made me do it. <laughs> but spot 50 50. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take a drink of water. We're gonna collect ourselves. We're going to take a minute to appreciate how cute Beanie is. Oh, what a cute little boy. See that little tiny ear twitch? Okay. <clears throat> <coughs> Camera, please, to focus. Okay. For the smooshy, I'm going to be using my Moyu London Crystal Clear Stamper, and I'm going to be applying three fairly large drops of each color. I'm going to be trying to smoosh two nails at a time, so I need a little bit of extra polish. If you only want to do like one nail at a time, you can go ahead and make your drops on the smaller side. And I try to just arrange my drops on kind of an imaginary tic-tac-toe board if that makes sense so that there's some of all colors in all areas then we're gonna go ahead and smoosh 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 until you're satisfied with what you see um if it pools up around the edges or by the cuticle you can go ahead and clean that up a little bit with an orange stick before removing the latex, which is what I'm about to do over here. And then I'm going to go ahead and peel off the latex and move on to the next nails. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, here. Where, where's our edge? So. Alright. Come on. Whoa. <laughs> I was trying not to have it go back over the top that was a little bit of a not a latex fail exactly but not a latex win either so like when it pools up if you don't do it at all before you pull the latex off I mean it will literally like run right off onto your finger and if you leave it it'll just be more for you to clean up like when you're doing the close-up cleanup and I see a hair in the smooshy on the pinky, you guys. Can I get this with the tweezer? Beanie hair. <laughs> okay, so then we'll take our stamper, clean it off. And do it all over again. <clears throat> I think I don't have to go quite as large as I went on my first one. I say as I make them almost even larger. Sometimes it's hard to control like exactly the 
blob of polish you get. Okay. And when you have a base color too, I mean the base color is there of course so that if you have any any gaps it's not noticeable. But you want to pay attention because um, like if there's a really big gap sometimes it will cause um, I guess you could say like a non-organic shape where it'll be really obvious that it's part of the base color and not part of the smooshy. If that makes sense? So, just be mindful of that. And we're going to grab this latex and do another peel. Whoa, that was a close one. I'm liking this a lot, you guys. It's like stormy, denim, oceany vibes. Does that make sense? That doesn't make sense. You know what I'm saying. You guys know what I'm saying. And I see chat moving, but I'm still recording. So I can't look at you guys right now. I'm sorry. <coughs> oh my god, you guys. I still can't believe I inhaled that much tea. I really can't. Um... Sometimes, too... It is a little bit trickier to do two nails at a time and I do find um, more of a tendency to kind of over smoosh um, if that makes sense like holy shit knocked over bottle if you are working just one nail at a time and you don't have a lot of polish on the stamper it's a little bit easier to just smoosh like a couple times I think so carefully Whoop. Uh -huh. <clears throat> trying so hard not to get this stuck on the nail like there are varieties of ways to <laughs> to to remove your latex but you do need to be mindful whichever whichever technique you prefer okay um Whoa, it's stuck to the napkin. It's fine. Christ is averted. Oh my gosh. It's fine. I dinged it. I don't know how obvious that is. <gasps> I dinged this one too! Okay. I managed to ding a couple of the nails on my left hand at some point so what I'm gonna do is after I do this smoosh I'm gonna take a little bit of the leftover polish that's on the stamper and carefully try to like re smoosh over those dinged spots uh, trying to be careful since I have already removed the latex from those nails so we'll see how that works out I mean, it should be fine. Should be fine.
That works. That works. Mm -hmm. All right, the last smoosh is going to be my two thumbs at the same time, which is going to be like moderately awkward, but it should be fine. I can manage not to ding any more of my nails like the klutz that I truly am at heart <clears throat> I'm pretty happy with how the over smooshing looks over smooshing re smooshing over smooshing is smooshing too much I guess it's re smooshing to be to be technical about it Woo! that could have been bad that could have snapped back like right on top of my nail. Okay, whoa. That did not make it onto the cleanup napkin. And comfy beanie? Make sure to have all the comps. <clears throat> Alright, I'm almost done, you guys. Then I'll be able to see chat. one more round and I'm gonna do like fairly large drops here because this is that's not a large drop this is intended for the thumbs and you kind of notice that I do the same layout for every smoosh it's the intent and usually it works is to keep the colors evenly balanced across all the nails obviously the designs are going to be different but if you're using the same you know amount of polish and the same general layout it usually helps to uh i feel like getting into my thumbs cuticle is like the hardest thing ever Um, I forget what I was saying also. Oh, the consistency of the color. I feel like doing it, you know, doing it the same helps it to end up similar. I guess I'd say. <clears throat> and then, once I get these carefully peeled, I'll take a minute to catch up with chat. That was a little bit nerve-wracking, guys. <laughs> when I realized I had dinged my nail. I'm gonna clean off the stamper. I mean, you need a, there's a lot of cleaning that goes on with like a smooshy. And these, I guess I didn't really mention these dappily looking ones. I'm taking the smoosher right after the smoosher, the stamper. <laughs> Dude, that's an idea. Just every company that makes a, a nail stamper just re rebrand it and call it a smoosher and especially for smooshies. Um, I take it and I, my cleanup napkin, I roll it on. You see the, the little pores on my bounty bounty we've had this this debate before and that's what uh, leads to that pattern on the stamper okay so let me let me where where did i lose off talking here or talking reading i i seriously okay oh yes the mustard the mustard ice cream more mustard ice cream oh my god
box of cake mix that you make in a cup and opened a pouch and added a pouch of it. Hey, sounds good to me. Or I wonder if you could just make it, because isn't there like a Coke cake? Is there just like, you could just use root beer instead? Sweet mustard. I don't, okay, so here's the thing though, but like, I like sweet corn ice cream, which a lot of people would be like, but like once I tried it, I was like, I'd taste it. I would try it. I would, I would sample it. Yeah, I mean, there's weird food combos that are actually delicious. Hey, Nisi. Okay, I'm I'm skimming. I'm trying not to like take too much time going back to the mustard ice cream days. I mean, mustard is already a thing like I had to grow into liking at all. Condiments, I lo I love like a honey mustard dipping sauce for chicken. I'm a huge fan of a uh, hoisin sauce. Uh, sometimes even like mix the hoisin with like regular ketchup or with barbecue. Yeah, special smooth. I mean, look at you guys. You can't even see. Well, you could you could see that little dimple in the index. That's where it was. But on the the ring finger, you can't even see that repair. You can't tell me that you do. And these are both hands side camera. I was trying to show you how we managed to have some consistent color between them. And I fully expect Top Coat to just do like fantastic things to this and we will have flashlight time as long as I don't forget. <clears throat> Dino, no, that would ruin it. <laughs> we already have hollow in here. Putting a hollow topper on would defeat the purpose of using a cream and a multi-chrome in addition to the hollow. Dino. <laughs> Pretty Woman Nail Polish. I think I've heard of it, but I don't know anything about it. The latex is giving me anxiety. I'm sorry. We managed to not have any. <gasps> Lexi! Hello! With the two month Prime resub. Yay, indeed. Hello, and thank you so much for using your Prime subscription on me. The quicker smoosher upper. Okay, I must be almost caught up now, yes? Mm. And Anne, did I say hi to... I think I said hi to... I don't know if I said hi to Anne. If I... Anybody I didn't say hello to, hello, I'm sorry. If you've been watching, you know that I am a spaz today. Like, I mean, I'm always, but like more than usual. You will never believe that. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you were able to stop by today, Lexi. We, uh... We came up with this smooshie on the fly <clears throat> with color club polishes. S little subtle bit of hollow there under the ring light for you, for you guys. This duochrome, and remember, like, we're not catching it a lot on camera. Ooh, there. See that bottom edge, that purple? I know it's not in focus. Don't, don't look at that. Just look at the color. That purple is like, you know, pew, pew and uh, cream blue. I will not, Dino. I will not. Okay. Clean up brush. Where's my clean up brush? Oh, here. Is this it? Yes. <laughs> no, Dino. No. <clears throat> Is this like a little piece of leftover latex? Get off me. Get off. We may we may encounter some leftover latex in the in the little crevices and corners. But we're just gonna do our best to clean this up all around the edges. in here and see this is why it's much easier that we did like at least a little bit of cleanup while it was still uh, wet so that we don't have like the thickest uh, flood of polish at the cuticle now that we're to the close-up cleanup <clears throat> 
Yeah, I hope, I hope the tutorial camera is doing good things for this because I've had so many lately that were frustrating to capture on camera. Anything with flakies, of course, is just like, it's like sometimes on, on camera, the flakies just turn like transparent. No matter what color they are, they get on camera and it's like, the camera can't see them. They're John Cena. And that's, I mean, as somebody that's like trying to like do a tutorial, that's like super frustrating. Like it's one thing, I feel like it's one thing in live streams to be like, no, trust me, you guys. But like the tutorial is supposed to be more, more of a guidance, I guess. I don't know. Maybe that's, maybe that's all in my head. <laughs> yeah, especially since I played it while I was gone to the bathroom. It's fresh in you guys' mind. Should I should I turn it on? <laughs> I hope that's right. I think that's right. I should know it by now. That's been my background music for the past like, I don't know, two or three years. It hasn't always been my background music. Some of you guys may remember uh, this one I was using quite for quite a while before that. Enter the Party, that was a good one. Just uh, every now and then I'm like, you know, I think it's time to switch it up. There's not like any particular like, oh, I'm going to use this for X amount of time. I mean, it's not there to be like, oh my God, it's my favorite song. Like it's just there so that it's not just like silently sped up footage, you know? Just a little innocuous background, background tunes. And this cleanup is really going pretty well. Sometimes some polishes get really just stubborn or stainy or well, you guys know a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys have had these same problems that I'm describing when trying to do a smooshie. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, no. I didn't, I, I have, I, I may stream after dinner. I don't know. I wanted to get, I wanted to start this a little earlier, but the day just got away from me. Like I said, I was... I was, it was one of those days where I was like up early, but like I was so tired that I just was not productive, which kind of sucks. Cause then you're sitting there, you're like, well, that almost feels like fucking a waste of time to wake up early other than attending the meeting. Um, the one thing I'm a little bit concerned about if I do an evening stream tonight is that there's a notice that they're doing scheduled maintenance in my area and that we may lose service after midnight, which would kind of suck if I was in the middle of the stream. But last time they said that that might happen, we never lost service. So I don't know if I should be like optimistic or pessimistic or what. Insufficient hollow. <laughs> the China Glaze Neon Watermark. Oh yes, with the, uh, the, pool, the poolside one. I think I did two with that collection. Ooh, there's a piece of... So, sometimes you will end up with little small pieces of latex just in weird places. I can see one right here. There. Yeah, camera! See it right, right there? So let me... I just gotta be careful. We gotta get in there grab it gently come here there and I think like sometimes around the very edges too can get to be a little bit of latex it's not difficult to get rid of but that's why I try to be clean with my application I don't know how those people that apply inside their cuticles get it to peel so nicely no latex I've ever used has peeled that nicely inside the cuticle 
So I'm I've I've very rarely have ever like had a latex application that meant I didn't have to clean up at all. It's just to make the cleanup easier, you know. <clears throat> Not my fault. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I wonder, too, if it was, like, planned maintenance or if it's to do with the outage the other day. Because the other day, we were without internet for, like, I don't know, eight hours, six to eight hours or something. Kind of sucked. Suck, sucked a lot, actually, TBH. But, I mean, I have my cell phone, so it's not like I was completely unconnected. But generally speaking, I know people, you know, have their Comcast horror stories or hate stories or whatever. Like, the other day I streamed like nine and a half hours and I had zero dropped frames. So I'm not usually mad at Comcast, but... I know they don't have a very good reputation. Got some, like... around that area of the finger chub like that little this area I tried to get my latex up there but I don't know I'm not very good at that like I always end up with some that gets like in there or if, if you have like again with like a lot of extra polish it'll absolutely like get down in there and then just you know that's where a Q-tip comes in handy. You can use your brush too, but I really like Q-tips for under the nail. They just fit so nicely. All right, so there we have cleaned up versus not cleaned up. Let's take a moment. Let's have a flashlight break before top coat. We'll have another one after top coat. <laughs> flashlight please camera please can can we can we focus camera no but we can see the hollow Right, guys? Does this appease you, Dino? <laughs> it's there, I promise you. <laughs> Light bulbs. Hmm. Yeah. I think it's that way everywhere. Like, you have a couple options, but it's like... I want to say our other one is uh, CenturyLink. <laughs> Please take me off your list. He's determined. <laughs> no! More! Hollow all the things. Also, you know, we were talking about them them holographic boots you bought, son, if you're still here. I think son's still here. And then I went and looked at them from the link you posted. <laughs> and then it started popping up on Instagram for me that they were having a sale. Up to 80% off. But of course, like I went and looked and of course the holographic boots were not 80% off. <laughs> they were like 10% off. I don't know if the sale's still going on either, but if anybody else looked at those boots and coveted them, depending on where your price point for impulse purchases is, you may want to go check that out. Yeah, I know Dr. Crotron's all special because he just got fiber. 
Now he's just got more internet than he even knows what to do with. And Luke also is on fiber. That I feel like that would be super nice. But like I said, as long as it is actually in working condition, I rarely have any complaints. Which I think as a streamer especially is like... Like right now, how long we've been going? Okay, one hour and 40 minutes, which is not a long stream, but I have zero dropped frames. And I mean, I stream at like 4K, so... Not not 4K resolution, 4K bitrate. Um, you know, so Comcast holds me down majority of the time. Don't go with CenturyLink? Why not, son? What's the, uh, the inside scoop? <laughs> He's such a dramatic little kid, Amethyst. Are they adjustable at least I hope son? The straps? God that's a comment that shouldn't be taken out of context. Or maybe that's just a 12 year old boy inside my head. Making everything lewd. Also that would have been a great opportunity for Buttspot to buttify. Alright. You don't want like too much acetone when you're cleaning up or it just like floods everywhere. That's why a lot of times you'll see me like blot my brush on the uh, paper towel, trying to keep it like damp instead of like dripping. Of course, this is like my most stubborn cuticle area to, to clean up for whatever reason. <clears throat> Mmm, hollow, 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 <laughs> hollow craftiness. That's what I was trying to say there. <laughs> okay. For some reason, I, it's always slightly more irritating cleaning up my right hand than my left hand. I don't know why that is. Let's take a minute and do the underside here. Hey, Luke. Welcome on in. We are working on a smooshy. It really doesn't look that impressive under the ring light right now. Flashlight time was very beneficial. And I imagine that flashlight time will be even more beneficial after there's some after there's some top coat on here. How's Luke doing? Flirt, flirt with anybody's mom today? <laughs> I'm sorry. Let me, let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs> mm. Wait, it's sitting by your door and you haven't opened it even though you know that it has hollow inside, son? <laughs> the smoky thug. <laughs> well, we're, I, don't, I don't know if it was ever confirmed to be somebody else's mom. We were just... We were talking about how it's weird to get old because, you know... Oh, I've thought of that too. Like if I did get back into like dating, <laughs> like, I don't know how I would feel about that. Like people with kids, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I suppose that's something I should like possibly put some thought into, except for, like I said, I'm, I don't know, 
I'm t- I think I'm too selfish to date. Like, I wouldn't want to change what I'm doing. It would just be like, I want somebody to hang out while I do what I already usually do. And then, like, I don't know, watch streams with me. <laughs> somebody to have dinner with. I don't know. But I don't want to, like, change anything about my own schedule. That's pretty, that sounds pretty fucking selfish. Like, well, sorry, babe, I can't go on a date because, you know, I've got a night race night. <laughs> <laughs> some non-work stuff done that is always good I know you were saying you might might put, get some more 106 runs in this week too mm-hmm. I, I I know you saw because you posted in discord I'm so unhappy with that PB Luke. It made me very sad. I thought Sub Hour was gonna feel like really, really good. And it like fucking didn't at all. <laughs> you just described marriage. I know, but like, how do you get there? Like, I'm too impatient. I don't wanna put in like the upfront work. Like, you can't, you can't just like go from like not knowing somebody to just like kicking it you gotta go through the dating shit you could you can hear the enthusiasm in my voice i'm sure plus like i've never like i talk about it like it's this horrible thing but like i don't actually know like i've never actually dated like (laughs) a dating situation i don't know let's let's quickly change the subject (laughs) Yeah, the panty vending machine. (laughs) Oh, that was pretty good. People are loving the coding streams too, I think, Luke. And I think you are too. You look like you're having fun with it. I hope I hope that's the case. Alright, we are almost done with cleanup. Then we're gonna do top coat. Then I'm going to have a dinner break. And then I don't know. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm somewhat wary of the maintenance warning. But on the other hand, I feel like it's maybe just like the, a cover their butt sort of warning. Because last time, last several times that there's been that notification, like it, nothing has happened. You know, I mean, I think they know, like, okay, they've obviously put it late at night. The it, the window is, like, from midnight to 5 a.m., but they have to know that there are people up at that hour that are going to be irritated with them, just like there are people during the day that would be irritated with them during the day. So, I don't know. Whether I stream tonight is kind of up in the air. I feel like this... Just trying to get this cuticle just like a little cleaner. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're just about just about ready for top coat. It'd be great to do like a smooshie with one coat black, because doing smooshies with black, they really get down like in that in that cuticle crease and one coat black cleans up so nice that I feel like it would be really cool to uh do a smooshie with I forget what kind of it's like the kind that you like stick in the oven and then it comes with like a package of sauce that you like put on it and uh have like some zucchini and some rice on the side or together I suppose I put them together try to have like a veggie sometimes even even my nachos have corn in them i guess that counts as a veggie right i know that once i start top coating i'll see places where i'm like i wish i'd cleaned up there better partially prepping for a different programming thing and lock picking on a crap master lock uh top hat uh thief that's not the word i was looking for not pickpocket either, because picking lots is not about pickpocketing. What is the word I'm looking for? Hmm. 
That's gonna bug me. I think I missed a little bit of chat. Oh, you met your husband through his sister. That's cool. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you, yo. <clears throat> Basenji. Okay, okay, Luke, Luke. What are your opinions? And anybody else who's joined us recently, what's your opinion on mustard ice cream? Yes, I said mustard ice cream. maybe painted dino i don't know why i called you painted dino instead of just dino i don't <clears throat> maybe at this level of lack of brain function should i even be considering an additional stream this evening maybe not but i am <laughs> top butt luke wait i thought moon was the top butt among my mods now now Luke is challenging Moon for the for the butt crown. That sounds butt trophy? Pro probably not better. <laughs> Even the picture is disgusting. Alright you guys. It's time for everybody's favorite. Make sure we don't have any little weird edges either. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Camera, please focus. <clears throat> Once you're done with cleanup, you can finish with the top coat. And as usual, I'm using Sesh Feet. All right. Just glom it on there smooth out any weirdness from the uh, smooshy and lock that peel off in there as best as we can <laughs> and then we'll have flashlight time you guys top coated flashlight time Might have to include some flashlight time in the tutorial too. Well, that's weird. Sometimes like as I'm brushing the top coat, I don't know if you guys can see this. It's like through the bead of the top coat, I can see the other shades of the multi-chrome popping out. Like when it's before it self levels. I feel like like I need a fan brush and some titanium white to put some happy little clouds on this like doesn't it just look like a sky that could just really some support some fluffy friendly cloud people or clouds people <laughs> <laughs> hell no I think that's everybody's initial reaction but then like when you think about it like is it really that maybe it's delicious like I mean it could it could be delicious mayo <laughs> Luke nah. but if it was mayo flavored ice cream would it be Hellman's or Miracle Whip <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, you do, Basenji. Oh, my God. Yeah. So, top coat, not top coat. Just brings out all the glossy goodness. And it mostly, like, you can kind of still see that in the corner where the ding was. But look at the reflection of the ring light. The actual divot itself is gone. Like, the top coat just filled it in so nicely. Because that's what top coat does. It's 
got one job and it does it pretty well not for everyone i'm so sad for people that sesh v does not work for because like it works so well for me i really you know i never like shopped around super a lot for top coats so i don't have like any other suggestions like well you know other than like what i've seen other nail artists use but not from like personal experience <clears throat> all right two more nails to top coat and then flashlight time i have to keep reminding myself because like a couple streams ago i think i promised you guys flashlight time and then i forgot to deliver upon said promise And then I always feel bad. Like, I'll remember the next day and then I'll be, like, feeling bad. <laughs> Even though it's, like, way past the point where I could do anything about it. Alright. <laughs> Hello, blue butt. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, that's so sweet, Amethyst. You don't know when to stop. Yeah, it, it seems to, like, interact with certain people's body chemistry and end up with a lot of uh, tip pull or a cuticle pull where it, like, shrinks your polish, yeah. Super sad. Okay, we're going to carefully... Remember that Sesh Beat is a miracle worker, but not like a full-on miracle worker. Let's not be bashing our nails into things here. Alright. We're gonna... We're, here it comes. Here, here it comes! Ooh. I, I feel like the uh the hollow mixed a little bit with the uh the multi-chrome in a lot of spots it didn't really mix with the cream interestingly enough so it it really is giving like that vibe that i wanted mm. i wish the camera would focus can i maybe almost Mm -hmm. oh, camera. Ooh. Yeah, I like this. I like this quite a lot. I hope you guys like it too. I wish ca I would whoa. I wish the camera would cooperate a little bit more with with the attempt at flashlight time. Dino what? There's plenty of hollow. This is enough hollow. That's weird, LJ. Yeah. So, that's our manicure for today, you guys. I'm pretty happy with this, although I'm suddenly getting the feeling like I've done something very similar to this before. I hope I'm wrong. It's always weird when I'm, like, super happy I finished a manicure, and then I look at it, I'm like... Deja vu? Have I, have I done this already? So, like I said, I'm going to take a dinner break. I'm, I'm not sure at all. Like, I'm literally unsure. Like, uh, if I'm going to be streaming tonight. But if I do, it will be announced in Discord. Um, no, really, though. Please feel free to join Discord if you want, like, announcements of, like, when stream is happening that's unscheduled, when there's changes to scheduled time, when I'm going to be late stuff like that or if you just want to look at everybody's animal pictures or check out everybody else's nail pictures or if you just want to like keep up with the community 
I really am very proud of my Discord because it's full of you awesome people. Like, I couldn't make it that awesome on my own. <laughs> Definitely. Um. <laughs> um. Yeah. This, the, the, like, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I don't know if I'm streaming later, but if I do stream, that is where I will tell you guys about it. Let me see where I can send you guys uh, for some entertaining evening stream. Um, <laughs> where are we going to go, you guys? Would you guys like... I, there's, there's like many people on. Wait, not these polishes though, what? Not these poli- Well... Probably not! Cause I haven't had- I haven't had this one that long. Or this one, I think. I think this is from the Whatever Forever collection. So yeah, it can't have been with these. You know, I know what I'm thinking of. I know exactly what I'm thinking of. There is a triple hollow drip marble decal that I did. It was not, it was not like this. It was like, I think it did use this though and two other blue hollows from Color Club. And I was so mad at how it recorded because it was just, you couldn't see shit. I'm like, please understand these are three different hollows. And it, you just couldn't see shit. You, you can see more of this than you could of that. A game of Twister. <laughs> Um, you guys want some arty stuff? Art artsy, I should say. Um, or some Zelda, or some Minecraft, or some Hollow Knight, or some... It's a lot of people streaming right now. Do over. You can go watch it if you want to see it, Dino. I think it's called Shades of Blue Drip Marble, although I could be wrong. Any any chance of Luke Strim starting up? Hopeful face? Hmm. Hmm. No Luke Strim tonight. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm so torn. So torn. Um How about how about some chain mail? You guys want some chain mail? Okay. Let's, oops, why are you not muted? Okay, this is just gonna be a host, not a raid, cause I know, whoa, I, I know her, but not well. She's uh, somebody that I know through Megan, who some of you guys probably remember as the keycap lady. Um, so, I always have to remember when I'm hosting and not raiding, don't push the button till I'm done talking, cause it's instant. Um, I, I think I've already said, I, it's cool, Carrie. It's like interlocking metal pieces, except instead of like making armor, they're making like jewelry. Um, yeah, I think I've said everything I need to say other than, of course, thank you guys so much for hanging out and helping me figure out this manicure. It's very pretty. I'm going to enjoy it very much and I will try to get some good, like outdoorsy and sunlight pictures to show you guys like some of the other angles that we really have going on here, like to get the purple, like this is just looking fully, fully blue on camera. You can't see any of the purple and this has purple. There it is, see? I, I gotta capture some of that pictures. I got to, I, I got to. But um, yeah, if I stream later, I hope that some of you guys are able to hang out 
And uh, if not, I hope I'll see you guys next time. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your evening, afternoon, or morning, wherever you are. And um, I, I already said I hope I'll see you next time. So, bye. <laughs>